We're going to talk about long-term memory, but not from a theoretical point of view and not from a philosophical point of view, but from a practical, we are practical people. Can I sit here? Is that right? We're practical people. We're here for a skill. We're not here for touchy-feely California, okay? We're here for a skill. Right now, is there anything wrong with touchy-feely California? No, not a damn thing. Okay, but New Yorkers get very nervous when they hear about it. Okay, they say, wait, you're not sticking to the point. I gave you my money, and you're not talking about speed reading. Okay, okay. So we put one over on you, okay? The point here is that everything that we talk about has to do with speed reading. Why? Because unless you can control stress, right? You can't really do an excellent job in the speed reading. We want you to control your stress. Well, what do you mean my stress? How do you know I have stress? Because every living human being has stress all, all the time, every minute of the day. It's just how you handle it, okay? Some people let it get the best of them and they get really upset. Other people have strategies. So what we're looking for is for you to have an ability to control your feelings, your emotions, Emotions are a good thing. We all agree emotions are good, but they also can be a terror. Because when that 10-year-old inner child grabs hold of an emotion, she shakes you. She shakes you. And we don't want that to happen. And if it's a male, it's a 10-year-old boy. Okay? So let's do this. You ready? Uh, enough talk about that. Let me be very specific. I want you to write down the following in a row. First of the numbers, one through 10. Start with zero. Zero, one, two, down, down the page to 10. No, down. I want to go down the page, vertically. Are we ready? OK. Zero, next to which you're going to write an egg, the word egg, E-G-G. Zero, say it aloud with me, zero is an egg. Zero is an egg. Why am I making you say it like you're 10-year-olds in class? Because, no, not so you remember. It's a good answer, but it ain't the right one. The right one is your brain believes what you say. I want your brain to hear you say it, not me say it. Because me saying it don't mean a thing. When you say it, it's serious. Okay? Zero is an egg. Gotcha. Number one, write this down. Don't look at me. Number one, okay? One is a candle. One is a candle. Ah, shut up. Two is a. Two is a swan's neck. Can you picture that? Swan's neck sort of looks like a two. Two is a swan's neck. Number three is a tripod. Everybody knows what a tripod is, right? Yeah. Like a photographer? OK, good. Number four, four, is a sailboat. Sailboat? Picture the sail, it sort of looks like a four, OK? Number five is a hand, H-A-N-D. Number six is a golf club. Number six is a golf club. Number seven is a hockey stick. Can you picture that, the hockey stick? OK, number seven. Number eight is a snowman. Snowman. And number nine is a tennis racket. Looks like a tennis racket. Number 10 is a hen. I couldn't, hen, H-E-N, like a chicken. A hen. Hen, hen, hen. Um, why hen? Because it rhymes, 10 is a hen. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. What do you want from my life, okay? <laughs> All right. You got that? Close your eyes now. Uh, what we're gonna do now, again, like the sound of your own voice, we have expressions that tell us what we really think. Like one of them is, talk is cheap. No, it's not. No, it's not. Talk is not cheap. It's very dear. 
because whatever you say verbally, meaning out loud, or internally, self-talk, the little girl or a little boy inside the head, a 10-year-old, and a child, it ain't cheap because you follow it and makes you crazy, okay? So don't do it at this stage of the game, okay? Let's talk about close your eyes. I'm going to tell you what you're learning now is one of the most critical things in learning that you can do for yourself. And you know what it is? It's called guided visualization. Fancy. Is that fancy or not? Guided visualization. All it means is you're creating a picture in your brain. Wait, before we do it, okay? Your brain hates numbers. It hates it, okay? Doesn't like to remember it. Numbers are pain in the neck, okay? To your brain. Your brain loves pictures. Got it? Loves pictures. It loves association. If I say north, you say? If I say east, you say? If I say up, I mean, you got the point, right? Okay, the brain loves associations. And it loves pictures. And you're giving it pictures. So the first thing I want you to see in your head is a hen. You see the hen? Picture in your head of a hen. You let the hen walk around. She just laid an egg. Did you see that? She laid an egg. Okay? So 10 is a hen. Say it out loud. 10 is a hen. Got it. Now we're looking at number nine. nine. Number, number nine, nine is a? Tennis racket. Right. It's a tennis racket. So I want you to picture, I can't think of any tennis heroes, but two people playing tennis back and forth and I want you to see the nine. The tennis rackets look like a nine, and they're playing back and forth. You got it? Picture? Locked in. Number eight. I want you to see what? Snowman. Right. Very excellent. I'm going home. All right. Snowman. Now, big deal about a snowman. It looks like an eight, doesn't it? It's a one a circle on the top, circle on the bottom, so you got a snowman. But you can't just leave it as a stupid picture. There has to be action. So picture the snowman. No, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Melting. Melting, that's it, good. Melting is good. The snowman, no, I wasn't. I was going to say the snowman is doing something to do with snow lady. Okay. All right, so this, so. The smelting, all right, so I take it back, all right. All right, so the snowman is melting. You see, it's an action. Your brain loves action, okay? Number seven is a hockey stick. So I want you to see in your imagination right now, daydream it. I want you to picture uh, some players, you know, hitting the hockey, the What's the word for the thing that they hit? The puck. Hitting the puck back and forth. Can you see it? There's movement. They're hitting the puck with the hockey stick. And number seven is a hockey stick. We got it? Number six. Okay. Again, I want you to mentally visualize. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows what he looks like, but, but Tiger Woods, you know. Uh, standing in front of the thing, and he's got it, and he's taking a swing, full swing. Can you see it? The action, he's moving it, and he's hitting the ball, and like that. Number five is a? Hand. A hand, okay, H-A-N-D. In New York, we say hand, okay? So it's a hand, right? And that the hand, I want you to see the hand opening the fingers, closing the fingers, opening the fingers, closing, because that's action, okay? So do it. So you got the hand. Five is a hand. Number four is? Sailboat. Right, it's a sailboat. So picture the sailboat in motion. The guy who's driving a sailboat, he's a moron because he's going to go over that thing in the river right now and he's going, he's going to drown. Can you see it? Okay, well, don't, don't shout out at him. He can't hear you. Okay. Number three is a? So picture this guy Brady from the Civil War who took pictures of Lincoln and the entire Civil War. Okay, picture him with the camera. He's looking in the damn camera and it's being held together by a tripod. You got it? 
The tripod just folded up on him, it fell down, and he's bleeding. <laughs> well, that's how I see it, okay? Something, it's action, I don't care, the more ridiculous the better. Your brain loves ridiculous things. That's why you like me, okay? Number two is a? Okay, swan's neck. So picture Central Park, and there's a swan there swimming around and doing things to the other swan. Okay. <laughs> you see, you have a filthy mind. She was picking bugs off of the other swan. That's what she was doing. Okay, so there's some action, right? So we got action. And number one is a? Right, it's a candle. So I want you to do this right now. You see the candles? There are 10 candles on this cake. You see the cake? I want you to blow them out now. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Got it. You blew it out. You'll never forget. Right? That one is a candle. Got it? OK. Zero is, a, is an egg. So picture the egg. And now see some action. What's the action? The egg is opening up and frying. That's cool. OK, that's good. What else? The, it's cracking, and a little chick is coming out, a little yellow chick. Got it? You see the chick? Good. So zero is a? OK. Now open your eyes. I want you to go through with me very quickly. Don't think about it. I want it to be instinctual, intuitive. One, two, three. Ready? Zero is a? Egg. One is a? Candle. Two is a? Swan. Three is a? Swan. Four is a? Swan. Five is a? Swan. Six is a? Seven is a? Eight is a? Nine is a? And 10 is a? You got it. Now, if you tried, you can't shake it. It's already sitting in your hippocampus already in your brain, in the hippocampus area of your brain, because you made visualizations of it. And if you want to be fancy, it's called neural connections in a neural network or, or synaptic connections in a neural network. If you ever want to look it up just for the fun of it, you look it and you'll see it. You can't get rid of it because there's action and because, now what does that tell you about memory? If you can create a picture in your mind linking the number to a word, an action word, right? You can't forget it. 